months before the 2024 election, and the evidence is mounting that Donald Trump has gone Looney Tunes. On his Truth social media platform, Trump just posted a dozen unhinged video rants. Many of them have all cap captions and make claims that are patently false and absurd. Case in point, Donald Trump, a convicted felon, has not been in prison yet. However, Trump thinks otherwise. I am the political prisoner of a failing nation, but I will soon be free on November 5th, the most important day in the history of our country, and we will together make America great again. Again? In President Biden's first three years, the U.S. economy created 15 million jobs. In Donald Trump's first three years, pre-pandemic, it was 6.8 million. Since Biden took office, the stock market has risen by 35% and just set a new record high. And the U.S. violent crime rate has now dropped to its lowest level in 50 years. But speaking of crimes, on top of being convicted for falsifying business records in New York, Donald Trump still faces other trials, including for mishandling of classified documents. And Trump keeps lying about how the FBI conducted the Mar-a-Lago raid. Look at Joe Biden's DOJ in their illegal and unconstitutional raid of Mar-a-Lago authorized the FBI to use deadly lethal force. Can you believe that? Now we know for sure that Joe Biden is a serious threat to democracy. He is indeed a big threat, not me. Actually, the FBI mar lago search warrant had standard language that restricted every agent's use of force. But Donald Trump and his minions have twisted the boilerplate language to make crazy claims about an assassination attempt. The Trump rhetoric is outrageous and over the top, and it could spark MAGA violence against federal agents. So the courts in Trump's remaining legal cases are now considering new gag orders on Donald Trump. That's right, the courts have already found Trump to be a threat and may declare him an even bigger threat. And all Donald Trump can do is keep projecting and spewing nonsense. And speaking of nonsense, in another True Social video, Donald Trump declared that he alone has the power to get Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich released from a Russian jail. Trump added it will happen if he, Trump, wins the November election. Evan Gershkovich, the reporter for the Wall Street Journal who is being held by Russia, will be released almost immediately after the election, but definitely before I assume office. He will be home, he will be safe. Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, will do that for me. And I don't believe he'll do it for anyone else. And we will be paying nothing. Biden likes to pay massive numbers. We will be paying nothing. Trump first made this claim a few weeks ago. At the time, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said the Russian government has not had any contacts with Donald Trump. Peskov added, regarding U.S.-Russian contacts in the matter of incarcerated and convicted individuals, we can say these contacts must be carried out in total secrecy. This is the only way they can be effective. In other words, even if Trump has a special connection with Russia, Trump is not following Russia's instructions on how to try and obtain the reporter's release. However, this gets even worse, because Donald Trump's video is incentivizing Russia's Vladimir Putin to keep Gershkovich prisoner. Also, think of how ridiculous Donald Trump's claim is in terms of U.S. politics. If Trump really had the power to get the reporter released, wouldn't it make more sense for Trump to get the release before the election? That way, Trump would get credit before voters head to the polls. But Donald Trump cannot get the reporter released. Trump is selling snake oil about the election to U.S. voters, and the family and friends of the imprisoned reporter have to suffer even more. Donald Trump is sick, even by Trump standards. And whether Trump is ranting in his truth social videos or spewing out all caps screeds, the rhetoric keeps getting more insane and untethered from reality. And as the summer goes along and the legal and political pressure on Trump keep building, watch out. Trump's nonsense is going to get worse. By the way, one of Donald Trump's fiercest supporters in Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, just got scolded to her face by Republicans. At the House Oversight Committee, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene tried to suspend reality. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. Mr. 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 Chairman, Fauci, objection. I Mr. Chairman, objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Gentilated Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will order. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.